this is the brand new Track Racer TR160S. And I've been using it as my permanent sim racing rig for several months now. And that's because it's really good. When it comes to a sim racing cockpit, I'm looking for three main things. How firm it is, how adjustable it is, and how it looks. You see, aluminum profile cockpits usually do a great job in the first two categories, but always look fairly stale. Not this one though. With a bright fluorescent blue anodized finish, it looks extremely unique and stands out among the rest. In my case, it also looks great when doing product reviews, so that's a huge bonus for me. If you want to be lame though, it is also offered in all black. Anyways, a big improvement I immediately noticed from this rig as opposed to others I've previously reviewed from the company was the packaging. Every single component came neatly wrapped and without a scratch, and every other accessory was clearly thought out in order to make the assembly process as easy as possible. And with regards to that, just trust me, if I was able to assemble all of this myself, you can too. Track Racer has always primarily focused on the mid to high range sim racer with pockets to match, and unfortunately, the TR160S is no exception, with a starting price of around $800 for the frame alone, with all accessories extra. For example, everything you see here, including the Track Racer cockpit, the rally seat, shifter mount, and integrated monitor stand, take this up to closer to a $1,600 rig, a massive investment for any sim racer. However, and especially after using this rig for close to half a year now, I can confidently say that if you're planning on using this with very high-end and demanding gear, it's definitely worth it. I've been using this rig with a plethora of direct drive wheel bases ranging anywhere up to 16Nm of force and extremely stiff load cell pedals that feel like you're pressing against a brick wall. And despite everything I've tested on this rig, I've never really had a problem with any type of flex, and that's something I can't say about most of the rigs I've reviewed in the past. The tier 1 wheel mount and pre-drilled pedal plate are made of thick metal sheets that have supported all gear I've used and with ample adjustability as well. Worth noting is also the red finish on the tier 1 mounting brackets, something I think stands out in a great way. Made by 160 by 40 aluminum profile beams, this is a behemoth of a rig both in capability and size, so if you're tight on space or if that's even a concern, you should definitely be aware. Another thing you should be aware about are the seats. They're not included, and if you want one from Track Racer, they range between three to $500, which is significant. However, I'm here to tell you this. I've used all of them, and I've also spoken to others about this who also agree with me, and that is that in my opinion, the Track Racer Rally seat, the one I have here is without a doubt the best. Not only in how it looks, but how it feels, this seat right here is probably my all-time favorite. It's made from a synthetic leather and suede-like fabric, which looks great, and its memory foam padding has kept me comfortable and snug for hours on end. I also love how it looks. I think it's a perfect blend between a hardcore bucket seat and a conservative recline seat, and the fiberglass shell on the back also adds to its look. Other than the fact that it's slightly hard to reach, I also can't complain about the seat slider. It's smooth, fast, and rigid, and it has worked flawlessly time after time, this being something that has failed on me on other rigs in the past. Of course, one of the cool things about aluminum profile rigs, and especially those from Track Racer, will be the amount of customization you have available. Track Racer, for example, offers everything from integrated keyboard and mouse blades to butt kicker supports, speaker mounts, and hell, even full blown motion actuators, so your imagination and your budget really is the limit when it comes to all of that. As per any limitations or drawbacks of the TR160, there are three that I identified. The first will be the support brackets that mount beneath the rig in the middle group section. These, if you aren't using the included rubber feet that slightly elevate the rig, will destabilize the chassis. Granted, if you're on carpet, it doesn't really affect you, and if you're on hard floor, there's no reason not to use the included rubber feet, but still. Second will be the size. Again, I would not recommend this if you're tight on space. For example, I wouldn't be able to use 
this rig in my bedroom, whereas I have been able to use other smaller aluminum profile rigs from other companies in the past. And the third thing I don't like is that at this price point, no shifter mount comes included. In fact, you'll have to pay an additional $107 for that. Now, you definitely do get your money's worth with this mount as it's an absolute tank, but it still sucks that it doesn't come included as it usually does with other companies. Overall though, like I said in the beginning of this video, there's a reason why I've been using the Track Racer TR160S for close to half a year now. It's been extremely solid and dependable, all while looking unique with this striking blue color. This rig right here is definitely not for everyone. Maybe it doesn't meet your needs as you're looking for formula's heating capabilities, or maybe it's just more than you need. However, for my needs, and maybe yours too, I really find this rig hard to beat, and that's ultimately the reason why it's still my primary chassis. So this has been my full review on the Track Racer TR160S. Let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below, and as always, thank you all for watching, stay safe, and have a fantastic rest of your day.